What is up guys welcome back to another video so today we're going to be talking about um, basically um, how to create your Facebook ads for your Amazon FBA product now this is part two of what we were talking about in the previous video um, and basically for that video I was talking about how you guys should be using video ads for your Amazon FBA products now if you guys don't know how to do that if you don't know how to um, um, you know get somebody to do a video for you through Fiverr or you don't have any type of videos that are available that is fine you can also do engagement videos but just remember if you are going to do engagement videos or not engagement video if you're going to do like engagement posts where you just have like a picture um, of your Amazon FBA product and you're basically offering somebody something um, you would need to have a landing page with that as well showing them you know talking about all about the product and maybe even a video on there that you can find that's related to it so the first thing that we want to do is create a uh, you want to add for it so all we have to do is click on engagement and then we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what to do here and click on engagement and then we'll just say picture um, picture ad split test we're gonna have to worry about that now All right, so the first thing that we wanna do, like same concept from the previous video, we want to have narrow targeting, et cetera. Now, the way that we're gonna get our images, um, we're not gonna use the, the stock image from our Amazon FBA link from our product, for our product listing. We're gonna actually be editing these pictures. We're gonna have really good pictures, and the way we're gonna do that is through Canva. Canva is a free tool that you guys can use for various things, whether it comes for, whether it uh, goes from um, product listing pictures or you know um, certain Facebook ad pictures you can use that and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean so um, right here um, now we can use a saved audience um, or well, we create an audience in the previous video but basically what you guys want to do um, if you guys didn't watch it uh, you want to pick a age range and what you, you want to find people that are related to your um, your product right so you have to think about like what what do people that are related to this product like so it, people are ordering the angle as a ruler right so they're probably going to be in the construction this they're probably going to like you know power tool websites or they're going to be subscribed to um i don't know some type of tool magazine something like that so you have to think about that and search those things on google and see if you can find them on the facebook um audience or demographics so first thing we want to do is type in construction so people that are interested in construction and then this here right here this means that um, the audience is going to be narrowed down so just think of that as people that also like construction and also like um, I don't know power tools or no let me see let's put tools instead Okay, guess that doesn't work. Power tools. Yeah, we'll just go with that. And then you also have to think about okay, so where do people generally go when they want to get tools for you know do it yourself product or um, you know construction or what have you? So usually people go to Home Depot, right? Home Depot. Uh, maybe Lowe's. Just want lows. There we go. All right. So, and then you can think of other stuff too, as maybe like construction workers, or maybe maybe do-it-yourselfers, right? Do-it-yourselfers. Then bam, we should have a decent amount of audience size audience, two hundred fifty thousand. Now that's good. Um, generally, you want to stay under one million because we want really targeted people to start out, so that when we start optimizing our ad and start narrowing down our audience even more, it's going to be super targeted. So from here, we're going to move on. Now you can choose to save this audience. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. Now for your budget, of course, you can start with it like five dollars or you know ten dollars. It doesn't matter. We'll start with five. Um. Just basically how if you spend more money, you're going to have uh, you're going to have more um, you know the data is going to come in quicker if you spend 
and or have a high budget. And okay, so the first thing that we want to do is go on, uh, we want to go on Canva, and basically, if you see this picture right here, this picture I'm um, completely made on Canva. Um, now you can do all this on here. A lot of people don't know about it because they don't lose, they don't use it a lot. So basically, what you guys want to do is go on Google or go on websites that are like Pixabay or um, Shuttershot and find these images that are free or are um, copyright free, and then use them for your product. Or you can use the supplier's images as long as they're you know high quality. And basically, you have to create transparent images of them. Um, if you guys don't want to do that, that's fine. Just make sure you have a white background behind your product. So all you want to do is create you know, an image like this. And you can have images on here like that. And if you have different pictures of it, like the Angularizer Ruler, you know, for this example, we're using the, uh, the world map, the scratch map. Um, so basically what you guys want to do, um, you can even search this on here and search frames. So maybe like... So square frame, this is where I found this guys, you can literally just drag on this on here and then put the box on here. And basically, um, the reason why we want these boxes on here and why we want, don't want to use the stock images for our product that we find with, from the supplier or um, that we find on Google, basically we're, we're trying to make sure that the images that we're using um, are going to pop out and that we show more than just a product alone. We're showing it you know, in use, we're showing um, you know, how people use it. Um, maybe even if a deal is going on with your coupons, which I'll show you guys here in a second on how to use. So that's basically the gist of what you guys want to do. So all you have to do, you know, if you're using, I don't know, so one of these images on here, all you have to do is drag, after you download it and upload it on here, just drag it and drop it in there. That's why I love Canva so much, and then you can edit it really easily. Um, now if you have images and stuff that you don't want to have transparent Im images for, um, like these right here, these are transparent images. Basically, I got these off of Fiverr. Um, but you can get someone to do a whole bunch of uh, transparent images for you on Fiverr, so you can you know move it around with ease without worrying about the background um, getting in the way for like five bucks. So it's really easy, guys. Really simple. So let's say we want to use this image, right? So all I have to do is go ahead and download it. All right. So we got that downloaded. Now we want to go back to our ad. And of course, you can create all different types of images for this. You don't have to have one image. If you are going to have more than one image, of course, you can. You have to add the uh, slideshow or the uh, carousel. So, let's see here, all you have to do is upload. And then also, guys, if you're running a deal for your product, you can also do that on here. So if you have like, um, I don't know, sale. You can put like a sale tag or something like that. Sale tag. Yeah, you can just drag that over here and then put in whatever you want, like I don't know, coupon, 50% off, etc. And then you can drag text. It's like it's really simple, really easy, guys. So when we go back to here, I already uploaded the images. Very simple. Um, and then from here, uh, what you guys want to do is add the text here. Now, of course, when we write this text, don't make it like you know too overwhelming or something like a book or a paragraph people don't want to read that when they're scrolling through their feed so just make sure that something that's quick and simple so we can just be like uh, um, Amazon product yeah and also another thing that you guys want to do is make sure you have like an Amazon symbol on your product or buy your product just to let people know that it is an Amazon product it gives people that more ver like verification that you know your product's official or because most people when they see Amazon the logo they're like oh okay it's Amazon I can trust that um, as opposed to them seeing you know your plain product and be like okay this is probably going to take me to some random website or whatever um, so just make sure that uh, you keep that in mind um, now of course um, you might be sending them to, over to a landing page, uh, which you guys can create through Weebly or Wix, um, and just talk about your product. Um, now, of course, you can also directly link them to your Amazon FBA product as well, but generally, I don't advise that because um, it's really hard to get sales just based off of that alone. So you can just be like Amazon product, um, I don't know, 50 percent off sale. Um, and then maybe 
have like a, uh, what do you call it? Just have them message you or, um, or have them message you on Facebook and be like, hey, um, you know, I'm interested or whatever, because a lot of people, they'll comment and say that, um, now you might not have an automation tool for this, um, which is okay. Um, but, uh, if you do have an automation tool, I suggest you guys do something, um, that's going to, um, basically, uh, message everybody that comments on your uh, ad on your ad when um, it starts running um, now if you can't do this um, you can also use many chat as well to distribute out uh, coupon codes which I'll show in a different video but for this one solely alone we're just going to keep it simple and um, we don't have to do a sale right now if you don't want to now of course when you say a sale you don't have to give them coupon codes either you can literally just mark down your price or just you know say that it's on sale and they'll, they'll just check it out from there so of course um, you can just be like uh, I don't know Amazon 50% off sale. Um, this product will change um, how you think of travel. I don't know something like that. You just want to relate to the person, right? And then from here, you just make sure you click on learn more. Now, if this was a video like describing the product, describing how it works and stuff, and then you have the text and everything, from there, you could probably direct link them to the Amazon FBA product. But from here, you just want to make sure that uh, uh, you're also, you're, you're, trying to, you're trying to lead them up to that, right? Most people are probably, probably not going to click off of this and go straight to the listing and then buy from there. So uh, we definitely want to keep that in mind. Now, of course, if that works for you, um, you just have to split test and see which works better. But um, generally, we want to have a landing page just to give them more information about that. Um, so, website URL, of course, you can put your landing page website on here. Now, if you're going to direct link them to your product, what I suggest you guys do, and I showed you guys in this previous video, I'll show you guys it now. Um, go in here, and then we'll search up Angleizer Ruler. Um, the link that you guys want to do is not just link your product. What you guys need to do is go to your store. So, sold by, and then whatever your store is, just click on that. And we go on to the storefront. And then, what you guys want to do, like a lot of people don't know about the super URL, um, it does still work. What you guys need to do is put in the keyword that you want to rank for. So, for this one, angle ruler. Um, now, if you're doing the scratch maps, just put scratch map or whatever, you know, that's the most relevant keyword. And then from there, you just click search. Then you want to use this link right here. Just copy that and then just put it into the listing right there. And then you guys will be good to go because um, that's going to help you not only get sales and rank, um, you know, based off the of sales velocity. It's going to also help you rank for your keyword as well. So it's like a double win win, right? So not only are you just paying for you know the keywords through your giveaway services or your PVC, you're also doing it through Facebook ads as well. So from there, um, you can always direct link it or create a uh, website for that. Now, um, what we're going to do is create um, some coupon codes for you guys. So all you have to do, um, so all you have to do from here. Um, what you guys can do is go over to the advertising and then go down to promotions. And then what you guys want to do is create percentage off um, promotion. So just go ahead and create. And then make sure this is very important, guys, because if you don't do this right, people can buy out your inventory really easily. So depending on how much, uh, um, you know, if this is only if you have a, uh, you know, a coupon distributor uh, software like ManyChat. Um, so or um, Zafir, Zafir, whatever it's called. So um, honestly, if you don't want to pay for those, just you know, mark down the price on your product, and then after the give, like after the days after that, just make sure you're marking up your product like one dollar up, one dollar up. Don't jump all over the place. Like if you're doing this giveaway, um, or you're you, if you're doing these Facebook ads and you're doing like um, you're saying oh a sale fifty percent off, and you're selling the product for like fifteen bucks. Um, that's fine, um, but what you guys need to consider is that um, you, need, you don't need to be jumping around in prices all over the place when you start uh, making your sales. So if you're going to uh, decide that you want to change the price, make sure you're only doing like one dollar a day up or down, right? You don't want to make a big jump because that really screws up the algorithm for your ranking of your product. 
So the buyer purchases at least one quantity. Whoops. We want to have one select purchase items. Um, you can do entire catalog or pick your product. Um, and then from here, okay. And then from here, buyer gets, you know, um, usually people are gonna buy. Um, you know, the higher the higher your percentage off is, the higher chance that people are gonna get your product. So I generally probably stick in a 90% range, so 90% per um, purchase items, and then scroll down here, and scheduling, um, you can pick, um, now usually these coupon codes don't register on Amazon until like four hours after for whatever reason, um, that's the rule, so uh, just make sure that it's like four hours after whatever time it is now, so 3.23 um, a.m., um, so I'd probably choose like six or seven or no, four hours later, so probably like eight. So, um, so from there, what you guys need to do is just put in your description of it. So, be like, oh, Facebook ad um, codes, and then from there, tracking ID. Just um, you don't really need to worry about that. And then make sure it's single use, right? Single use, one redemption per customer. This is the most important thing. And then go from there. Just click on review, and then um, you just have to wait for the four hours, and then go back to the uh, the uh, advertising promotions after you wait the four hours um, you're going to have the uh, you're going to go to manage your promotions and it'll show up just like this so yeah um, with that being said guys um, hopefully you understand this um, that's all I really want to talk about in this video hopefully you understand how exactly you do Facebook ads now from here guys of course based off the Facebook ads that I'm showing you in this video you don't have to do it exactly how I'm showing you um, because you can also do it different ways you just need to make sure that you're split testing so um, you know if you at if you're doing an ad exactly like this and sending them straight to the product listing page you need to have a ad set for that and also have another ad set um, based off of uh, you doing a video and, uh, and then sending them to the landing page or the product landing page and then maybe another ad that's doing this same template except you're sending them to a, a landing page um, using Weebly or Wix or you know I don't know uh, InstaBuilder or ClickFunnels or whatever it is um, and then from there you can actually just send them over to the product listing after you you know warm them up about the product so with that being said guys that's all I wanted to discuss in this video it's very simple very easy um, hopefully you get a little bit of understanding of what you guys need to do now when you create your ads let me um, also show you as, as well um, let me see here so for ad sets all you guys have to do and when you go to objective if you want to create different one just create split test um, and then you'll and then you'll be able to create different ad sets based off of that and then when you create and you know if that doesn't work for you just create this ad create the campaign and then from there you'll be able to create different um, sets of ads under that one campaign so with that being said guys hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you got something out of it make sure you like down below make sure you subscribe to my channel i have plenty of templates down below and i'll see you guys next time peace